Hey, have you noticed that the biggest difference between our generation and older ones is that we don't have to wait for anybody to give us power? It used to be that in order to make a real big difference, you would need permission from somebody in a position of authority or you need permission or help from somebody that had a lot of money. But because of the internet and social media, more and more of us are able to share our opinions, our thoughts, and even sometimes create careers and even social movements because we have the power of social media and the internet and it's becoming so accessible to more and more people. And of course, even though it's becoming easier and easier to do those things, you still need to gather up a lot of strength to even just put your ideas out there. And that's what I want to talk to you today. How do you become powerful in a world that's telling you every single day that you're weak and powerless? If you've been watching my channel for a little bit and you've seen my video, Be a Generous God, you know that all the power is already inside of us, we just have to access it. And when I made that video, I didn't tell you how to access your power, which is why I'm making this video today. And I made that video maybe three years ago, and even though I had gathered up a little bit of my strength, I didn't really realize that I didn't realize that I wasn't powerful. And we live in a world that's always telling us that we have no power. So, of course, I think the first step is to realize in which situations do you feel powerful and in which situations in life have you not felt powerful in the past. I feel like in the past, I didn't really realize that I had the option to feel powerful. And especially, I think as a girl, I've never been told to think about being powerful, competitive, aggressive until I found martial arts and I found how to be a lot more powerful and how to look at myself um, and see that I've had power all my life because of that. And for me, what helped me realize this is that even though um, it's very difficult to do a martial art, I wanted to keep going every single day and show up to the gym and try and be better again. And it sounds really easy, but that's not something that every beginner does in every area of life. And so when I be real began to realize that, oh, I'm powerful, um, I began to look back at my life and realize I had always been powerful. I had been overcoming difficult situations. I've been trying really hard to achieve my goals. Um, and even smaller goals like finish school, have a job, get to work on time. And just because you accept the fact that you don't always feel powerful doesn't mean that you have to remain in that feeling. And it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. But I think it's just important to be honest with yourself and become aware of your relationship to your own power. Are you thinking that other things outside of you are going to make you powerful? We already discussed in our, my previous video, Be a Generous God, that it's not the things outside of you that are going to make you powerful, it's what's already inside of you. So I want to give you a few more concrete steps in how to access that power that's inside of you and how to practice that power. For me, step two in finding your power is looking at all those areas you identified in step one where you are not so weak and making yourself overcome those problems. For me, a big instance that I realized maybe a decade ago in which that I began to realize that I behaved in a way that was not powerful is I had a really hard time looking at people in the eye, especially strangers. And that was because um, I've always had a lot of anxiety and depression. And when I'm feeling a lot of anxiety, I kind of feel like I just want to hide from people, but I didn't really realize like that become that had become a habit and that became the way that I carry myself on a day-to-day -day basis, even if I wasn't feeling anxious or depressed. And of course, that's not a way to feel powerful in your everyday life. So I began to give myself little challenges like today I'm going to look at every single person I walk past down the street or I'm going to look and smile to every person that I see on the bus that would make eye contact with me. Um, you can give yourself little challenges like that to improve those areas of weaknesses. Um, so like I said, step, no step number one is not about feeling bad about yourself, it's just about identifying areas that you can improve. And step number two is actually taking action and improving those areas in which you feel not so successful. Like maybe you haven't stepped up for yourself, maybe you haven't expressed when you want to say no, maybe you have allowed other people to put you down maybe you have put others down so which areas can you improve what are little goals that you can give to yourself that even if you don't accomplish them that same day you can come back the next day and try 
to accomplish those goals. Try to work on those areas that you can be better and that so that you can begin to feel powerful because just accomplishing small goals, it also makes you feel really good about yourself. And that is also part of being powerful. And with that said, for me, step number three is about expressing yourself. Like I said, we're lucky to be in a time when we have social media, we have access to the internet. Like at the very minimum in the US, you can most of us can go to a library and access the com uh, free computer and free internet. So it's a lot more easier today, especially if you're in the US, for you to have an avenue in which to express yourself. Or maybe even if that can just be pen and paper and you know just writing your emotions writing a letter to someone you know ex i think expressing yourself is very strong because every time you express yourself you have an opportunity to, to say you know what yeah that's me i that's how i think or the opposite you know what that's not really what i wanted to say let me figure out what i really think and that's why i continue to make youtube videos and things like paint because I feel like every time I try to express myself, even if I don't succeed 100%, it just makes me feel better about who I am and it just reinforces within me like, yeah, that's who I am. And I think one very important thing is that for me in particular, when I express myself, it brings me with joy. Um, I have a lot of fun making these videos. I have a lot of fun painting or going to a gym, doing kickboxing. And when I feel a lot of joy, I've noticed that I feel a lot more capable, like I can conquer the world. I don't know if you've had those experiences in life where like you just all of a sudden felt peace and felt joy and, and it was because you accomplished something and it makes you feel like you can accomplish more. So I think it's very important to bring joy to our everyday lives. So number, step number three for me is going to be bring joy to your everyday life in whatever which way you can. If you get joy by gardening, then do a little bit more gardening. It's kind of weird that we just live in a world that just tells us, hey, you have to be productive and you have to make money to be a good human being. But that's totally wrong. I don't know if you saw that article from BuzzFeed the other day that was like, um, why millennials are burnt out and it's because everyone's telling us all the time to work 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 make money be productive do more even like even at work like with email and text messages you can't really escape your bosses you can't escape your colleagues right someone's always telling you that there's something to do there's always something pending i personally have noticed that i feel very uncomfortable when i'm just relaxing and doing anything doing nothing i mean like i should be doing something and that's totally wrong recovery is a big part of being a human being and joy is a big part of being a human being and finding your strength so step what well, i don't even know what step i'm on anymore <laughs> uh, step number three is bring a little bit more joy and peace to your everyday life because i think strength comes from those emotions strength doesn't come from stress stress doesn't come from being burnt out you feel weak when you feel those emotions so how are you going to change the world how are you going to do very impactful things if you're feeling burnt out and weak all the time and of course needless to say the people in power they want us to feel weak weak they want us to feel like we have no say in what happens in the world because they can just run with their agenda and the rich can make themselves richer um, because the poor is too are too busy working and being tired all the time and that's just not correct so i would in, i would encourage you to find a little bit of all those little pleasures throughout the day that are productive not like you know doing drugs or something like that but what little things make you happy day to day and put more emphasis on those things so that even if you have a lot to do you're still experiencing joy and you have a moment of quiet because I think that's gonna move us more towards strength than you know all the other crazy emotions that this world wants you to feel from day to day. Okay, I think actually I think I said that was step three, but that was step four. <laughs> and I believe we're now in step five. And just going back to social media, I think step five needs to be about stop following and giving attention to people and things or shows that make you feel Bad about yourself make you feel drained with like i said with the power of the internet we can see all kinds of ways in which other people live um and 
but unfortunately it's also like become a different level where it, people are competing against each other who has the most money who can go on more vacations who has the most expensive clothes and i think for some of us it's very draining to be looking at that all the time and feeling like you're not there yet why aren't you there yet if maybe your friends or um, just people your age around the world can do those things i would honestly encourage you to go through your social media and stop following people that make you feel less than and i don't mean that you shouldn't listen to people that think differently than you because what people that think differently than you are doing is they're challenging you so that's different i just think we shouldn't give that much attention to people that make you feel like you're not living your life the right way because you don't have enough money or you know you don't have material things like i um, I just think we should stop following so many people that put so much emphasis on a materialistic type of life because many many people around the world are having multiple jobs to even just try to pay their rent so you're not the only person that is struggling if you're like don't have the money to go on vacations don't have the money to buy expensive clothes all the time and those things aren't even important. Those, the fact that somebody can do those things doesn't mean they're necessarily super happy. So I would say change who you follow to people that inspire you to be better, inspire you to grow. Like I had to put myself on a one year hiatus. <laughs> um, I banned myself from Twitter for a whole year because I was just so depressed and like um, just reading all the bickering that happens on twitter regarding trump and all the stupid stuff he does that it was easier to just not visit twitter anymore than to unfollow all the people that are you know political that i follow on twitter so don't worry about you know if you need to take a break from social media or if you need to change the stuff that you're paying attention to go ahead and follow people that make you feel like that make you feel stronger and that make you feel joy more so than people that are making you feel insecure because there's a difference if you're watching shows about traveling because it inspires you and you want to one day travel and see the world and there's a big difference between that than if you're watching people that are traveling the world and you're feeling like shit because you're not traveling the world i hope that what i'm trying to say makes sense because i feel like all the big brands and all the big shows and movies they're spent so much time on telling us that we don't we shouldn't feel good just that we can buy their products that we don't need to do their job for them we don't need to make ourselves feel bad with all the people that are watching on social media because like i can understand why those psychopaths will take that route of making somebody feel less than so that we can buy their products but what's not normal is that we if we make ourselves feel bad 24 7 that makes no sense so watch what you give attention to on social media step number six is make food a source of strength to you i think when we talk about food a lot we are always talking about oh how do you lose weight how do you eat so you can have big muscles but not very few people are just telling us to eat to make ourselves like healthy and um it's really hard especially when you're growing up because all the cheap food is frozen and like you go to a supermarket and there's like three to four aisles with frozen pizzas in all shapes and forms and like i want to eat pizza every fucking day if i can but it's not really gonna make me healthy <laughs> um and i think with food it's also very easy to use it to comfort yourself when you're not feeling good or just to eat when you're bored and then also we eat when like i said when we feel our bad about bad about ourselves and we want to lose weight we start to develop very negative ways of relating to food i personally just had a neutral to negative relationship to food growing up because i was very picky and all i wanted to eat was hot dogs <laughs> honestly so when i found martial arts i started noticing actually that what i would eat would make me feel different every day when i worked out if i ate more veggies and fruits with my normal you know rice and chicken or whatever those days i would feel a lot stronger than the days i would eat like pizza right <laughs> or a burger and so i started eating little by little eating healthier eating just more veggies more fruits and because you know i always eat like rice and protein 
so i just started eating a little bit more healthy and i started noticing i would even feel better um when i was outside the gym and i noticed for me just the days that i'm able to cook at home i just feel really proud of myself that i'm able to cook like healthy food that i can take to work and eat later on that the days that i don't cook i'm like I know I'm not gonna be eating good food anymore and it makes me feel bad already. And another thing that's challenging when it comes to food is like so many people eat, talk about weird expensive foods and it's like you, you don't have to eat expensive foods to eat healthy either. I'm lucky that I'm lucky that I'm Latina and I grew up eating rice and beans and I've actually gone back and started eating a lot more rice and beans every day because that has all the nutrients that you need and all I do is just like add more veggies or add a protein. And that has all the nutrients that I need, so I don't need to be eating like any weird stuff either. Like, my biggest pet peeve is when you go to a restaurant and you can't even understand what's on the menu. Because like it's so... all the ingredients are so weird and um, I hate that. So don't be afraid of googling different, different recipes or ways in which you can eat healthier. And I think this is um, one of the things that we're almost 100% in charge of what we eat and so we can definitely change it of course if you're younger it's more difficult because you know you have to kind of depend on your parents or your family or maybe you don't have as much uh, money to spend on like uh, food because i remember when i was in college like all i wanted to eat were like nacho like frozen nacho bites and that would be like my dinner <laughs> so you know start little by little incorporating maybe more fruits to your diet, maybe make that as a snack. And I actually noticed that when I eat healthier, I want to snack less. And so when I eat, it just tastes so good because I, I don't even know, but I'm, I enjoy food a lot more when it's healthy now. And so I think that's a very important step towards being strong because you're literally physically making yourself strong. And the way that we eat definitely affects the way that we feel. So it's just one more layer one more little thing that you can control you know little by little of course um they can begin to master and just put yourself in a better position to feel healthy on a day-to-day -day basis and lastly step number seven is begin to develop a healthy relationship with exercise i feel that like this is another area in which media and big brands they try to manipulate you to feel worse about yourself the only time we talk about exercise is about being skinnier so you can feel good about how you look or gaining muscle so you can feel good about how you look and you know one thing i really appreciate about the body positivity movement online is that yes we should feel good about how we look at any size and i really appreciate that but that doesn't mean we don't have to exercise at any at all when we're all sizes like we all require exercises to be a healthy human being of course we all require different levels of exercise some of us walking the dog around the neighborhood or just you taking a walk around the block maybe that's good enough for you where you're at with your health and your level of activity for someone like me who loves to be active i go to kickboxing every night that doesn't mean that you need to do kickboxing every night or that one is better than the other it just means begin to incorporate exercise because it makes you feel good and it makes you feel like you're moving towards health and you're moving towards strength. Things like going out to dance, that's a fun exercise activity type thing that doesn't have to go tied, it doesn't have to be tied to a goal of losing weight. Um, it's, it's really weird that we don't really promote just exercise for fun that much. Uh, they're always like i said just trying to make us feel less than so we can give up their money so try to forget about that and just find an activity that gives you joy for me right now it's kickboxing uh, i feel a lot of joy when i do kickboxing and i go because it's fun i don't go because i want muscles or i don't go because i want to lose weight i'm just going there because hey i had fun yesterday i want to have fun today before that I, I used to do yoga because it was the same idea I, it made me have fun it helped me kind of gain a certain level of mastery over the way that i think which i never knew was possible before so in all kinds of activities you can find little things that are going to give you insights into life into yourself and just make you feel better along the way and keep your level of health up 
and like I said, I love the body positivity movement, but we all need exercise in one way or another. And I think it's really important because when we begin to use our physical body, we can really feel our strength. Like even if it's something like hiking, have you ever had like a really long hike? Can you feel so freaking tired? Maybe you even wanted to quit halfway, but you realize at the end of that hike, like, look how powerful I am. I was ready to quit, but I overcame. So that's why I think it's so important to do exercise. It's just one more area in which we can develop our power, we can develop our physical strength and our mental as well. You know, when I was writing this video, I actually didn't write it down, but if I'm being honest, I have a number eight thing that helped me become more powerful and that is reading spiritual and self-help motivation type literature nowadays you can find all kinds of videos on youtube as well for free of motivational speakers people that um, just help you understand yourself give you tips on how to live a better life and this was very important for me as i've grown up just to even understand that if there's something about me that i don't like I can always change it, I can always work on changing it, and I'm not really stuck with all the weird things that I might not like about myself. Like the one, the things that are, are really important, like how you treat other people or how you carry yourself, those things can be changed. The way that we look says nothing about your inner strength or what you can accomplish, so I don't think those things are important, um, but definitely Step number eight would be to, again, just find people that are telling you how to grow, how to be better, giving you, you know, if we don't know how to do those things, they're helping us learn how to do those things. Um, so I guess that kind of goes with the social media, but I don't know. I just felt like that was a, a something that I left out. So. so I made this video because lately I've been becoming really aware of the fact that I used to feel so weak and now I feel powerful and even on the days that I still don't feel powerful I know that I'm not weak I just maybe today I'm having a bad day so I just wanted to share a few more concrete steps with you about how to go about being powerful because I think if you're watching my channel we all want to change the world for the better we want to be in a position where we can put our ideas um, to use with the help of others or we'll maybe want to help others with their ideas in how to make the world better but in order to accomplish any of that or even share your idea you have to feel powerful because it's very difficult just to express yourself especially if you are on the internet or social media so many people are going to leave you hate comments all the time no matter what you're talking about so imagine if we we're talking about things that actually matter people are gonna come and criticize us all the time so we have to be ready we have to be strong and we can't let the possibility that somebody will criticize us stop us from doing so so i think it's really important that more and more people around the world start to begin to feel powerful because i think it's our true is a true state of being for a human being and unfortunately we've lived under the influence of mainstream media for too long and thankfully that's going away and most importantly i think it's important that we feel powerful because it's dangerous for the people in power if you feel powerful if we no longer need their products or services to feel because we know that we can do better without them why are we going to keep them in power why are we going to keep their businesses going and if you want any proof at how powerful and threatening someone that has power is to one of the establishment is look at how the conservatives especially and the elites are treating the new congresswoman alexandria cortez alexandria ocasio cortez they try to harass her on social media they try to ridicule her they try to end her career um because she's saying ideas that benefit every every person in this nation like universal health care, uh, having one job that allows you to live with dignity, and how much support she has on social media is actually very threatening to the people in power because I'm pretty sure that she probably took the seat of an old-fashioned, small-minded person who was looking out for themselves. And when the establishment begins to see that 
we know that what they're doing doesn't benefit every single person or at least the majority of the people and that their um and that their choices mostly benefit their friends in the fossil fuel industries pharmaceutical industries gun manufacturing when we begin to know that we are powerful we begin to make choices that say hey i'm gonna make choices that benefit me and the people like me my neighbors my communities and we go and get rid of the politicians that aren't working on our behalf so it's extremely threatening that you feel powerful and just that you even feel joy is very threatening to the people who want to see you have the least in life and like what interests me is who told alexandria to run for congress i think even if people had told her to run for congress she had to have enough inner strength for her to say you know what i'm gonna run for congress and i'm gonna represent people that like me so if you want to get to that level where you can fight for other people you first have to fight for yourself little by little on your day-to-day -day life you have to make yourself strong and so really in a world that wants you to be docile and powerless to be strong is an act of rebellion and that's what i hope that you start doing today please share this video with anyone that you feel needs to hear these words not because you think they're weak but because you see their strength and what they have to share with the world and you want them to become so powerful that they be go ahead and fight for others so yeah like i mentioned to you guys in my last few videos i still want to make videos like this where we talk about revolution and powerful ideas i don't just want to make videos about painting i'm sorry if i gave you that wrong idea with my last couple of videos i just got really excited <laughs> about finally making videos about painting i still want to try to figure out a way to put them together so thank you for staying with me while i figure out how i want to go about it so yeah that's all i have for you today please subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination and if you'd like to support me, please go ahead and sign up for my newsletter. I only send you an email about once a week and it's when I make a new video because I know that YouTube's not really the best at notifying you <laughs> that your uh, people you're subscribed to has made a new video. And also, if you'd like to know more about me on a day-to-day -day basis, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I post a little bit more personal things and definitely a lot more frequent than I do on YouTube. So. I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys.